We've got a lot of stuff to talk about. I've got a lot of stuff sitting here in front of me. I went and grabbed everything that I've been loving recently and I'm gonna try to keep this not a million minutes long. Uh, yeah, I wanted to do a July favorites video of all the stuff I've been loving from all different categories. July, I feel like, did it fly? It, it, it didn't fly, but it was like, I'm so excited to be in August because August is the last month of summer and I'm just so ready for the fall, baby. I'm so ready. Um, so yeah, I want to talk about everything I've been loving this past July, everything I used, and yeah, all categories. We've got hair, skin, books, beauty, shoes, all that kind of stuff. So keep watching um, if you want to see my July favorites. Okay, first thing I'm going to talk about is I'm going to stop beating this dead horse. So let's just get this out of the way. Have you guys been watching my videos? If you've been watching my past vlogs, you already know. This book had me in a chokehold. Like, it was so emotional that, I don't know, I, a book has never had me in my feelings the way this book did. It's amazing. It's the first book of five, A Court of Thorns and Roses, a must read if you're into fiction. It's just amazing. I'm gonna leave it there. Because if I talk any longer, I'm not going to be able to shut up about that stupid book. I call it stupid because of... it, Because I'm re... Uh, let's not get into it, okay? It's an amazing book. I love it so much. Okay. Um, I don't know. Do I want to give another book recommendation? There's so many books. I have to do a separate book video. I'm very obsessed with my... Skincare, I I put, I put don't just use anything. I want soft, supple, clear, smooth skin, not just my face, but my whole body. And I will say these are the best two lotions I've probably ever used. Um, they're exactly the same. So this would be the high-end version. This is from Sol de Janeiro. Um, it's their Beja Floor Elastic Cream is so good. It's got retinol in it. This is a brand new one. I don't love the smell, but I love the way, I love what it does. It's like if you deal with like strawberry skin or, I used to deal with strawberry skin, not anymore. Um, but if you deal with having any roughness on your skin or any, marks this will take care of that and it's just super hydrating so yeah this sold de Janeiro, but it's expensive this so i would say the best dupe for this is quite literally this the only reason i don't love 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 this lotion is because it only lasts me this bottle will last me a week i put lotion on twice in the day. I get up, I go to the gym, I come back, I shower, then that's my first shower of the day. Wait. When I take my, I'm a night shower. I take my showers at night or when I come straight back from the gym in the morning. Um, sometimes I take showers twice in the day. Anyways, this only lasts me, this bottle right here is the biggest bottle they have and it doesn't last me long. I use it on my entire body and so yeah i just wish they had a bigger bottle or something because this will last me one week only one week anyways it's the exact dupe it is um anything else body and yeah this the asop this body scrub is amazing i always pick it up when i'm at the airport because these are always at the airport um, the Aesop Grenadine Leaf Body Scrub. This is so good. It's made of bamboo stem, pumice, and gren, gren, grenadine leaf. I don't know what that means. It's just a good body scrub. It makes your skin so soft. I use it like three times a week. It just makes everything so so soft. I don't play about my skin. My skin needs to be soft. 
everywhere and hydrated everywhere. I don't play rough skin. I don't play none of that. That body scrub is everything and it lasts a long time. Another thing I love is the, I think this is a new myth, a new scent, is it not? The caramelized vanilla and macadamia. When I tell you, actually today some girl asked me when I was at the mall today, some girl said, what are you wearing? And I was like, just this. This smells amazing. Um, I think this is, okay, the notes are caramelized vanilla sea salt. How do you smell sea salt? Toasted macadamia nut, white chocolate, tonka bean, and coconut blossom. It's so good. Yeah, they gifted me a bunch of these because I just went to a Sol de Janeiro event here in Dubai and they gifted me a bunch of these. They just smell so good and they're everything. Make sure you spray it on your clothes though. Never spray perfume or body mist on your skin. Always spray it on your clothes because it's got too many chemicals in it. Um, I th oh, and camel milk soap. I told you guys years ago that I, I started using camel milk soap. It's amazing if you deal with dark underarms or dark knees, that's what this is for. So camel milk soap um, is extremely popular here in Dubai. It's basically, why well, you might ask, why would someone put camel milk into a soap and use it? It's extremely brightening. So if you're dealing with dark anything, this will eliminate it. So if you deal with dark underarms or if you have dark kneecaps or if you have dark elbows, you just shower with the camel milk soap. It's like within a week you see a difference because camel milk has a lot of lactic acid in it. That's why those camels can survive for so long in the desert without water. They have so much lactic acid buildup in their bodies. So it is just a lactic acid bomb. Um, and so these are made here in Dubai and literally the only ingredient, there's like three ingredients, uh, camel milk and shea butter. And this one has rosemary and tea tree. So yeah, these are on my website if you want them. You can still get them on my website, the camel milk soap. Um, yeah, I, you use it and it's so cute because it's got a little camel on the soap. Um, but yeah, you just would use a camel soap here and here and on your knees or if you have strawberry legs and you see results within a week, your skin looks brighter and smoother because that camel milk is going to go after the surface, the, the layers of your skin. Any other body products? I think that's it for body, everything else. Yeah. I'm gonna get into hair now. As far as hair, this is what I learned from the Yao women. If you know me, you know the Yao women, okay? Because I've talked so much about them. Um, I basically apprenticed under them for four or five months this year. Um, learning everything I could possibly learn about hair from the hair OGs. And um, one thing they taught me, they said, our rice water is obviously top tier. It is amazing that that recipe was crafted literally over centuries in China. And if you guys watch my vlog, you saw they have it locked up. They literally have it locked in a cage the, the Chinese people centuries ago hand wrote down the recipe. It's so cool to see that of the rice water and how to make it so that it would never die. And it hasn't centuries and centuries and centuries later. They're still using the same rice water recipe. Um, but regardless, they said when they were when I was learning about hair at the hair at their hair headquarters, they were telling us that one of the worst things you can do to your hair and the reason why our hair is so healthy and it doesn't turn gray, yeah, it's the rice water. They said, but also, they're like, you guys just use too much. When you use, you're throwing all this stuff at your hair, it just gets confused. Like, our, our bodies, think about, think about us as humans, right? We're not robots, we're not mechanical. We weren't made 
to use so many freaking products. And I know I'm doing a July favorites video where I'm talking about products, but these are products I find what works for me and I try to keep it really minimal. I really do. I feel like we live in a consumer age right now where it's like the more the better. The more skincare you have, the better. The more hair care you have, the better. The more you your your closet your looks like a Sephora store, the better. That is so not true. You need to find good stuff and then just keep using that good stuff and keep it as as isolated as possible. The less stuff you use, the better. If you think for some reason that you need more, 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 more to look better, to have better skin, to have better hair, you're just not, that's just not true. It's not more, it's quality and then just keep whatever works for you down to what works for you. Keep it very basic, your skincare, keep it basic. Your hair care, keep it basic, as basic as you possibly can get it. Okay, don't go buy and because let's just say something does work for you, but then you just like use it a little bit and then you try this and you try that and you try this and you try that and you try that and you try this. That thing's really not even gonna work for you because it's just, you're just throwing everything at the wall. No, you gotta pick something and you gotta stick with it, okay? Um, our bodies were never made for like a trillion chemicals. Like your poor body is just like, I'm so confused. Your hair, your skin, it just wants, just try to find good stuff and make it as bring that routine down to something extremely concise. So anyways, um, I keep it real basic. I'm not someone who's going to keep throwing at you different products. I told you guys, I went and found the world's best hair products. This is a new bottle. Um, the Yao, this is my favorite shampoo of life. This shampoo um, targets antique gray. So I don't have gray hairs, but this is intended to prevent gray hairs. It's got ginseng and seaweed extract and green tea extract. If <clears throat> and I don't have any gray hairs, um, but this, the idea is that I don't get them or that I don't get them for a very, 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 very long time. And let me tell you something. I will, for the, I told the y'all women this. I told them for the rest of my life, I will come visit you guys to get your products. I will. I will go once a year if I, well, I go for my own website. This is all available on my website. If you want them, link down below, but I'm not going, I'm not going to be restocking my website until about September. Um, but if you would like the Yao products, you can get them now and it would ship around the end of September. Um, but I told them I will be coming to see you guys and getting your products for the rest of my life. I will. And they said, thank you so much. And, um, yeah, I will, because I the, the idea is that you don't stop using it. You know what I mean? <sighs> so, anyways, nothing has made my hair grow the way these rice water products have. My hair just, shh, my hair in its curly state touches my hips when it's wet, not when it's dry. That's why I don't really wear my hair down and curly yet. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. You gotta you gotta realize something. I've always had long hair. So like when I went on this healthy hair journey and I started to wear my hair curly, my curls, when they're dry, they're probably sit right here. No, they probably sit like right here and I'm not used to that. So I'm waiting for my hair. But when my curls are wet, my hair is down here, you know? So like, I kind of want to wait till my dry the dry state of my curls gets a little longer before I start wearing my hair down in its curly state. If I hope I'm making sense to you guys. Yeah, I'm still not used to seeing myself with shorter hair. And when my curls are dry, they sit right here and it's just a little too short for me. So I'm just waiting for another four or five inches. And I will, cause you know, shrinkage, when our curly hair girls, we have shrinkage, right? So 
Um, but I'm almost there. I'm almost there. It only took me however long this year has been going on to get my hair back to where it was when it was straight. So anyways, um, yeah, nothing has made my hair grow like these rice water products. It's just absolute liquid gold. So yeah, I might for the rest of my life talk about these products. We'll see because it just doesn't get better than this. And also part of why this these products are so amazing is because they're made from the mountain water. That is a key component in the rice water. That mountain water they get up in those mountains, go watch my videos, you guys, is a key component of the rice water. Um, the water is so pure and they're fermenting with that mountain water that has um, all these different bacteria in it that is so important for scalp health. And it's just, these products are just like absolute gold in a bottle. And I don't have the ability to make this for myself. That's why I don't even attempt making rice water myself. It's just not even, nothing I or any of you or any of us can do is going to come close to this ancient Chinese recipe. They put so many different herbs in here and it's so concise in the way they ferment it and da, 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 da. So anyways, yeah, I use this on my, on my scalp and on my hair. Oh, every day of my life. Um, it's what I use to make my slick buns. I don't even really use gel anymore. I use gel for my edges, but I just, it's just the best stuff in the world. And yeah, it's available on my website and I, uh, but I won't be shipping again. So if you get it, you're getting it for pre-order right please please be aware that you're if you purchase it on my website from now from today you will be getting it pre-order and you won't get it shipped to you until about the end of september i won't be restocking until then um but yeah if you'd like it you just have to wait for my pre-orders um when you gotta catch that pre-order because each pre-order will sell out eventually but yeah, anyways, it's just, my hair is just never been silkier, softer. And when I'm not using that shampoo and treatment, I just started using these Amika products. I love them because, so this shampoo targets growth. It is targeting hair growth and anti-gray and gray reversal. So. If you've got early grays, it can reverse your early grays. Otherwise, it's just preventing grays. Um, and it's just make, it's making your hair. When I'm not using that, I love this combo. This comes with its own conditioner. This is the shampoo. This is the Hydro Rush Intense Moisture Shampoo. It comes with its own conditioner that looks just like this. And this is the velveteen dream smoothing conditioner this comes with its own shampoo they each have their own specific matching other side but i like these together i like the intense moisture shampoo this shampoo is so good because i'm not really into shampoo if i'm too too if i'm very 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 honest with you for shampoo i don't believe in it i actually only believe in really moisturizing shampoos so i'm either using apple cider vinegar to shampoo my hair or i'm using this a rice water shampoo which is like it's shampoo but it's basically like a a rice water balm it's packed with nutrients and if i'm not using that i use this intense moisture shampoo they're the only shampoos i really use because i'm not a shampoo person i kind of don't even believe in 99 percent of shampoos out there i think they're too stripping for the hair that's just me especially if you've got curls but i will use that intense moisture shampoo and then i love this velveteen dream smoothing conditioner because i'm in dubai it's the summertime if you know you know there is no wearing my hair down it is just absolutely not an option that's one thing i love about when i throw away my straightener 
oh my gosh there's so many good things that come with throwing away your straightener and not putting heat on your hair if i were straightening my hair in the dubai summer it would just be the biggest waste of my time it is humid and the second you go outside your hair is just a frizz bomb especially if you got curls i don't know this is so good this conditioner i use it to style my hair when it is extremely humid and hot it just keeps my hair really um yeah it's like smoothing you know it's it keeps my hair looking not like a frizz bomb so i use this when it's really hot or really humid and i don't want my hair to look like a crazy afro okay i've got a few more things i want to talk about my favorite shoes i bought these the other day and i'm like who is she like who is she i didn't know who i thought i was buying these shoes but when i tell you i am be i just don't know like i'm sorry have you ever seen a cuter heel in your life they are from aquazaria and they've got these little strawberries look and you obviously tie this up your leg oh my word they're stilettos though and i don't know i never would think t as myself as a stiletto girl but i've worn these three times already who is she who is she and i've never gotten so many compliments and they're just the cutest shoe in the summer ever put them on with jeans they look cute obviously you put them on with the dress they look cute they're everything they're everything i just think they're the cutest shoes i've ever bought in my entire freaking life and i think they're limited edition i don't know it said limited edition when i got them but they're just so they're just they just scream summer and yeah i've gotten three wears out of them already which is like unbelievable because you would think you would look at them and be like Oh, you're only it's something you would wear once and then you never take them out again i've worn them three times and they're so comfortable i thought that stilettos i always thought i always stay away from heels and stilettos because i'm like oh they're just the most uncomfortable things in the world and a lot of heels are these are comfortable like they're four inches but they're comfortable i my legs didn't hurt my but I have nothing to compare it to. I just know that stilettos usually hurt and these don't. They're so comfortable. I wore them the whole day. Um, it wasn't a problem at all. I wore them around the mall. I wore them shopping with my friends. Cause here's the thing about Dubai girls. Dubai girls are gonna wear heels no matter what, right? Dubai girls don't, I guess some of them walk around in sneakers, but since they're wearing the hijab and that abaya and stuff, they're usually wearing heels and like, I don't want to be left out and I'm very comfortable with myself. It's not like I have to be a different person when I hang out with people, but like I wanted to be like wearing heels and like going out and like when I go out and have fun and eat with my girls, I wanted to dress up and that's what I've been doing. I wore these three times to go out and eat with my girls and I wore them to a gathering at my friend's house and I wore them to uh, when I went to the Alana Hotel. Yeah, so they're just the cutest shoes I've ever owned in my life and they're everything. I literally, when I bought them, I stared at them like, oh, I just, I couldn't stop looking at them. I just looked at them, sat them next to my laptop while I was doing my work. They're just everything. They're just the cutest shoes of life. So is there anything? Oh yeah. Of course, the Amla oil. This is on my website. Um, this is the oil you can only get in the Middle East. If you get it anywhere else, you're buying motor oil. <laughs> yeah these are made locally here in dubai and it's uh it's actually a claim on the box i show you guys in my shorts go check out my shorts that this is made halal it is made ethically and locally and it's the real deal and it's something you can only get in dubai or in the middle east you can only get in the middle east is what i mean and this stuff will have your hair growing in two to three business days this hair oil is insane like the only downside about it is it's dark green. So it can get on things. 
you got to be very careful because it is packed with that amla fruit. That amla fruit right there is what makes it green. So the second you get it on something, <laughs> it's stained. It's stained. You got to be very careful with that stuff. It is so potent that it, it is... Okay. Be careful. If Just know that when you put it on your scalp, be weary that it... You need to be aware of what you're wearing. You need to be aware of your pillow. You need to be aware of anything you're going to touch because it will stain it green. It will, especially the real one. This is the real one, right? Um, because of that omelet fruit, it's 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 this dark green pigment, but that's the thing that's getting into your scalp and just making your hair grow like crazy. Um, but it comes with a price. Be weary. You don't want to stain here of your clothes or your pillowcase or anything like that. So. Put a robe on or just put something down. Put some um, towels down or something like that if you're going to sleep in it. That's what I do. I put it in at night and sleep in it. Amazing. Amazing oil. So that's everything I really want to talk about in my favorites video. That's Those have been my favorites this past month. Have you guys tried anything that I have mentioned? If so, let me know in the comments and if you loved it as much as I do. And I will get out of your hair. I hope you have a good rest of your day or night or afternoon. And I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.